We're here at Defence Vehicle Dynamics 2018 and I'm here joined by Mike Ivey, Vice President for International Programmes for Oshkosh Defence. Mike, could you tell me a little bit about some of your autonomous programs that are currently underway? Sure, Mel, I'll be glad to. First of all, I want to say what a privilege it is for Oshkosh Defense to be at DVD again. Uh, it's a wonderful opportunity to display the capabilities of our vehicles, and we're always delighted to show customers and potential customers what our vehicles can do. With respect to autonomy, Oshkosh, of course, as you know, has been involved with Autonomous Drive for a number of years. We've, uh, we, we've called that in years past, we've called that our Terramax technology. We, we consider ourselves to be leaders in the, in the field of military vehicles and Autonomous Drive. Um, our most recent efforts in Aut Autonomous Drive have been in a program called Expedient Leader Follower. EXLF, I think, and uh, the Ex Expedient Leader Follower Program is a U.S. government program. We were awarded a contract earlier this year that will run for a couple of years to develop further a, a leader follower capability on a truck that we make called the PLS A1, which is a, um, a five-axle heavy cargo truck. And, um, and so we're, we're currently designing the kit along with other industry leaders. We're designing the kit that will be installed on the PLSA-1 in a very low quantity initially to prove the concept. And, and then our contract allows for greater quantities after the concept is, is developed. And so Mike, could you explain to me some of the technology behind the autonomy on the vehicles? Uh, well, the, the technology involves a number of safety features that you probably enjoy on your vehicle that, that you drive today. It involves features such as, as a, brake, a braking mitigation system that will, that will provide for automatic braking. It involves radars that can sense what's in front of the vehicle, whether it's another vehicle moving or a stable object. It involves cruise, adaptive cruise control, cruise control that can sense what's in front of it, slow down and speed up depending on what's in front. So there are many features that are involved with Expedient Leader Follower that, that you would be very familiar with, but it involves bringing all those together on a very large tactical wheeled vehicle to ensure that it's safe first and then that it provides the capability that the military is looking for in autonomous or leader follower capability. And does it matter which vehicle is unmanned or can it be in any kind of configuration? We are beginning this effort, as I said, on the PLS A1, which is where the Army wanted, wants us to start and therefore that's where we're starting. But much of our technology is is exportable to any number of platforms across a range of weight classes. So uh, the, the technology as it evolves will be a very adaptable technology that, that you could apply to virtually any size tactical wheel vehicle. And in your opinion, Mike, how far away do you think it will be until the vehicles are fully autonomous? You know, I think we're probably closer than many people think to a, a full autonomous capability. One thing that will emerge from the Expedient Leader Follower Program is an operational test with, with U.S. Army units and soldiers to prove the concept, to prove it's safe, to prove its value to, to operations. Um, and we, we're confident that 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 will be a successful demonstration and that we'll move forward very quickly into further autonomous capability.